new painting I did yesterday. And uh, it's based off of a picture. When I was a baby, my mamma was holding me. And there was a bright light coming out of my my left eye. And then when my granddaughter was born and I became a mamma, I saw an angel in the bathroom. I mean in the in the hospital room who I said to him, you are not taking my grandchild, and he then stood at ease, letting me know that he was simply there to guard because we had been attacked by the other side of the family at the hospital. I mean, who does that? Okay, so anyway, I recognized in the picture that there was a big orb in front of me, and out of my left eye was a bright, bright light shining. And so I was seeing in the spirit when my kids couldn't see the angel, but they did snap a picture of the orb. Okay. Well, then at Hashanah Rabbah is when I had all these awesome experiences. And, and then I was standing on the beach after making a sand angel in the sand. And I stood before the Lord and was taken up into like a Star of David. And the light from the center was pouring out into me. And then the golden oil, like coming down a DNA chain, like an oil lamp, was pouring down into me. And now my brother was standing right next to me. He didn't know anything was going on. It was all going on inside of me. But truly a physical, spiritual experience. And and then the other day I saw an angel with his feathers winged uh, around my friend. Who was a Roman Catholic and, and she's been born again. And so God is showing her who she truly is in him. And... Um, I saw an angel with his wing around her like that and the, you know, kind of a pink aura of agape love and forgiveness. And so I added that in there because I felt like I was taken up into his bosom and surrounded like this and, you know, taken up into him. All right. So anyway, <laughs> and then here's this little picture my friend gave me. And I was like, oh, I don't like the same, same, sex. And I turned it around and it became Psalm 999. <laughs> it says, Exalt the Most High God. Worship at His holy hill, for He is holy. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He lifts us up in Him. Yeah. Okay. So then, this is the one I'm working on. And I see my little granddaughter in there. I always see stuff in the wood. And so that's what inspires me. Anyway, but the sun's starting to come up and I wanted to take you. And there's the angel that I'll, that's the first picture of what I experienced. And then, you know, y'all have seen this one when the orb came out of it as I was singing Shema, Shema, Avacha, Levruach. And then out here, I just thought I'd come sit out in the front porch. And so I put the chair out here. It gets noisy. You wouldn't know we were near the beach because all the people from the base are headed out to the base that way. And uh, anyway. It's a pretty morning, and I don't know, you know, just amazing things have happened since I moved into this house. You know, Abba has healed me of breast disease when I was out on the beach and gave me the messages of John 111, 222, 333, 444, 655, and 666. And then the message to the prophets, embrace the secret celebration that Yahuwah remembers and the messenger shall return is our hope and our consolation is... And that's, you know, Habakkuk and Zephaniah and Haggai and Zechariah and Malachi and Job. And so on. go look up the meanings of those names if you haven't seen the video. And you'll see the secret celebration. And, um, anyway, I just want to bless the Lord this morning. Everything is changing. Everything, everything, everything. You know, and it moved up into the 5G technology. There's a big tower over that way, and you know, it's continually shooting. But I praise God because of the trees. I call this place Mount Peniel. <laughs> you know, it was in Hashem and Rabbah. I, uh, I, I came out here. The Lord woke me up at, at like 4:44 a.m. John 4:44, prophet's number honored in his own nation. And I stood out here under this pine tree, looking at the house over, you know, over the, the doorway. And uh, the moon was above the doorway, like a candlestick. It was beautiful. And that's when I saw the lion's face of Judah. 
and in the midst of the center of it I saw the purple robes and it looked like you know Yeshua and golden oil white and gold both um, pouring down out of his bosom into the tubes uh, which were trees with underneath and myself and I began to sing out there at um, 4.44 a.m. My neighbors were also out there. There, Israel's blood and love and heart. And um, anyway, it was pretty amazing because it was just all over. The, it looked like a big candlestick. So um, there's so much I have to share and usually don't have enough time and it takes forever to load. But uh, Jake called the place Pineal. <laughs> So no, I've decided to call this little place Mount Peniel <laughs> on the beach. But you know, when our minds are pure, when he purifies us, he gives us crystal clear vision. It's not a kind of leaning thing, man. It's the spirit of most high God who purifies us from the inside out. You know, you think about the seven candlesticks of Revelation, the churches, well, what if all the churches were working together? Huh? Look at that. Just imagine if all the so-called outwardly called churches worked together in the Holy Spirit. But what he's talking about is everything within us, our house in order. Each room in our house is like a, an energy point, you know, our foundation. What kind of energy is coming from our foundation? What foundation are we on? And then how's our relationship on that foundation? You know? And then what's our joy quotient? And what comes out of our bosom? And what do we speak about, huh? You know, what's in our mind? Is it the mind of Christ or is it the mind of... Let's go to the brewery. <laughs> you smell the barley over here cooking. 